Coker. All right. And three, two, one. Clint Cosgrove, Rivals National Recruiting Analyst, here with one of the top 2024 defensive linemen in Illinois and maybe the Midwest, Justin Scott, defensive tackle out of St. Ignatius, Illinois. Uh, Justin, thank you for coming on to talk about your recruitment. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure talking with you. Now, the first time I saw you was early in the season. You had just picked up an Illinois offer. Uh, one thing that people don't realize, especially when they turn on the film, is you're you're brand new to football. You were a, a soccer guy as a youngster. You were a basketball guy up until then. You started playing football as a freshman, and then sophomore year is your first year in varsity, and all of a sudden you have a Power 5 offer maybe even before your first three game film came up and the funny and not the funny, but the crazy part about that is that was quickly followed up by Rutgers, Iowa state, Missouri. Just tell me what that was like. What was the thought process? What was going through your head? Um, you know, to barely be into your high school football career and yet get that kind of love and offers early on. Tell me about that. Yeah, it definitely took me by surprise. Um, being it being my first year playing football, but I think something that also helped me with it was uh, my like transformation from other sports into football, which kind of helped me, you know, spark this year and uh, going that help us help our team going that run we went on. But uh, it I'm it truly makes me grateful just knowing that they're giving me uh, opportunities this early and while I still have two more years to play. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that you have two more years to play um, because you're a, you're a big, bad man on that defensive line, and you obviously uh, helped Ignatius have a very special season. Now, uh, continuing in your recruitment, uh, January was a busy month for you as well. You picked up offers from Iowa, Tennessee, and, and Syracuse, uh, three more Power Fives. Tell me about those offers and, you know, any thoughts that you have on those schools. Yeah. Um, that week was really busy. Uh, it was basically the whole day. I, I mean, uh, every day that week, my coach would text me, say, oh, we have such and such here, such and such here. And then I'd be followed by offer. Um, it honestly took me by surprise, too, because I, I wouldn't think that I would get, you know, five in a row just like that consistently. consistently. But um, I really appreciate the schools coming all the way down to Chicago just to offer me and just to look at me how I look in person and just give me the opportunity. Well, yeah, no, I've seen you in person. You definitely passed the eyeball test, and I'm sure that had to have been a, a little surreal to be brand new to the sport, pick up all these offers when there's a lot of people who spend their lifetime preparing for that and never get put in that position. Um, so uh, visit plans. Uh, I believe you have some visits coming up. Where do you plan on going? Uh, my first visit, well, well, my like third visit, but... Um... I plan on visiting Iowa in uh, March and then maybe a junior day at uh, Cincinnati. So, yeah. Okay. And tell me this. When you go on these visits, what are you looking for? You know, what is important to you in your recruitment? What are the factors that are going to help you decide where you go in the end? Um, one big thing would definitely be jerseys. Um, like they say, look good, play good. Um but I'll, I'll also like f facilities, um, you know, just practicing training in, uh, you know, just nice complexes. And then definitely um, the like fans, uh, the energy hut is on game day and just seeing like how I can feed off that energy and just go crazy. I'd love to see you go crazy. You're you're a big man that can move and you fire off the ball and you can uh, you can definitely knock out, uh, knock that line of scrimmage back now. Uh, how about this? A lot of offers. You're only at 2024. You're up to nine, I believe. Are, are there any schools that stand out early? Um, I have a few internally, but I'd rather just keep it open for now. You know, just keep on going, keep on working. Hey, that's a great answer. Very political move. Keep it open. Keep the colleges interested. Uh, how about this? Schools that maybe have not offered but have shown you some interest because you're a guy that I think is going to blow up and you have a chance to be a national recruit. Tell me about schools that you've heard from, have, have had, had at school um, that maybe haven't offered, but 
could very well in the future. Um, yeah, uh, Michigan, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Indiana, and Wisconsin, they all, they've all been to the school. And with Notre Dame, I've been talking to them for a little bit. Um, I went on a visit in uh, October, no, November, I believe. Um, this I would say this is maybe the second, third time coming to the school. But, uh, yeah. Well, they're showing you lots of love, and that's always a good yeah. thing, man. So, uh, as, you know, you're 2024. Uh, you got plenty of time. You got plenty of talent. Uh, you're you're just scratching the surface of what you can be as a player. But do you have a commitment timeline? Is there a certain time that you're looking to get this process over with, or are you just looking to enjoy it and take it all in and and see what offers you can get? Yeah, I'm definitely just looking to enjoy it. Um, just keep on working. You know, play football. Um, and then when the time is right, the time is right. But for now, yeah, I'm definitely just going to, you know, just lock in, play, keep on working, get better, and then, yeah, make it when the time is right. Love it. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, I think you're a special player. And like I said, you're just scratching the surface of what you can be, especially being brand new to football. Uh, but, Justin, thank you so much for taking time to talk about your recruitment. And hopefully next time we do one of these videos, maybe you'll be releasing a top – list of schools or maybe even a commitment video but thank you for coming on my man thank you for having me always a pleasure